Hello, I'm David Othmer, station manager of TV12. In a moment, we will join scores of public television stations across the country in presenting an episode of the series POV called Tongues Untied by award-winning producer Marlon Riggs. It's a film that explores openly and frankly the experience of being gay, black, and male in America. Tongues Untied contains visual images and language that will be offensive to some. However, it's also been called a courageous work, and we're broadcasting the program because we believe part of the mission of public broadcasting is to provide points of view that cannot be readily obtained through other media. If you feel that you will be offended by this film, you may wish to turn the dial. If you don't, please stay tuned for Marlon Riggs' Tongues Untied. Next on POV, Tongues Untied, the acclaimed new film by Emmy Award winner Marlon Riggs. Abomination! It's an abomination! Anger unvented becomes pain, unspoken becomes rage, released becomes violence. Cha -cha -cha. I was blind to my brother's beauty, and now I see my own. Cha -cha -cha. Anger unvented becomes pain, unspoken becomes rage, released becomes violence. Cha -cha -cha. Marlon Riggs, director. I remember when I first decided to, to make that step in front of the camera. And in some ways, by the time I made that decision, it was easy. But the process, the walking towards that, that moment was difficult. Because everything within me was saying, no, 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 don't do it. Find somebody else. Find somebody else who will talk about being HIV positive. Find somebody else who will talk about being an Uncle Tom. Find somebody else who will talk about being called nigger and punk and faggot and so forth. Let them tell their story. Let them sort of take, you know, the, the heat if there's going to be heat about this. Let them take, you know, the praise if there's going to be praise about this. But you, hold back because there's too much at risk here. Too much at risk personally, too much at risk professionally. Let someone else do it. And yet, every time I realized that I was thinking in that way, I also realized that I couldn't ask anybody to do that, that that really was my responsibility. This program is a co-presentation with the National Black Programming Consortium. Brother to brother, 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 brother to brother. Brother to brother, 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 brother to brother. Silence is what I hear after the handshake and slap of five. After what's happening? Hey, boy. What's up, cuz? How you feel, girlfriend? Blood. Miss Fang. When talking with a girlfriend, I am more likely to muse about my latest piece or so-and-so's party at Club Shishi than about the anger and hurt I felt that morning when a jeweler refused me entrance to his store because I am black and male and we are all perceived as thieves. I will swallow that hurt, and should I speak of it, will vocalize only the anger, saying, I should have bust out his fucking windows. Some of the anger will be exercised, but the hurt, which has not been given voice, prevails and accumulates. Silence is a way to grin and bear it, a way not to acknowledge how much my life is discounted each day. Day. 100% I strive to appear strong and silent. I learn to ingest hatred at a geometric rate and to count silently to ten, ten thousand, ten million. But as I've learned to mute my cries of anguish, so have I learned to squelch my exclamations of joy. What remains is the rap 